<laughs> now, my dad always used to say that being a writer, and in particular a poet, is all well and good, but it's no way to make a living. Too true. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, I wanted him to be a doctor. What are you up to, then? I'm reading. Come downstairs. It's Christmas. Ah, it's plastic. Well, I'll take that from you, shall I, Dad? Two words. That's all I'd like. Well and done. <laughs> Your dad's wonderful. Yeah, well, right, right, right. you'd have to live with him. <laughs> Dad! It could have been a lot worse if our sleeping bags weren't waterproof. They're not waterproof. <laughs> Came as quickly as I could. Am I too late? So how long? Can't say. Depends if he feels like fighting. It'd be good to talk at some point. What about? Past, I suppose. Family questions. How did you put up with it, Mum? Well, I didn't. Not always. No one hates their dad more, do you leave? Well, I do. Don't you dare ever, ever say anything like that again. You should never, ever wish anyone dead. What if it came true? It's stupid, really. You spend your lifetime trying to avoid talking to someone and then all of a sudden it's too late. I'm sure there'll be time. One, two, three! If our purpose on this earth is to leave it a better place for our children, we haven't got bad live. Did you last see your father? The last time he was healthy, active. The last time you had an argument about something. So I've been trying to recall the last time I actually saw him. The last time he was unmistakably him.